the mic, can you just give us a piece of bit of background about your record Lemon? Yeah, Lemon Business Solutions. I'm the managing director and founder of the company. We started back in 2003. Uh, we're a call centre based in Stockton Tees. We employ approximately 80 people now, that's on a 24 7 basis. Uh, and we've grown by looking at engineering, IT companies, etc., across the country to outsource their process and service to ourselves. What made you become involved with the TSI Alliance? What was your main line the track to the whole project? Yeah, absolutely. It is my son, essentially. Um, like a lot of a lot of men, my son, when he came about, I started getting involved in football. So we looked at the local uh, Borough Foundation Academy and we started getting him there to do some training. And it just wasn't for him. The atmosphere wasn't quite working. He wasn't concentrating or focusing. I just felt it was probably a little bit too much pressure from the sidelines, etc. So I give it a go and try to push through it. And then eventually, feeling sorry for him, we decided to step away. And then out of the blue, he mentioned basketball with no background. I wasn't involved in basketball, never really played, only watched it a little bit. And he came up with the idea of wanting to come to a basketball, a basketball team. So I did a little bit of research, we went on Facebook, we found the Lions, um, came across James, sent a message, came down to our first session, and literally from the first session we never looked back. He was absolutely engrossed, and what a difference it was from seeing him at the football training and not really paying attention to being at basketball, thoroughly enjoying it, getting involved, concentrating, and the advancement that he was making week in, week, week out just blew my mind, but this is something I'm so impressed he's involved with. It's something that while I'm here, you know, I want to see and add value where I can as well, because it just, it was such a great atmosphere for all the kids there, including my son. And really, that's how it came to be, out, out of the blue. So, how are you helping to normalise the project of the so How do you think you can get involved at a personal level? Yeah, sure. Well, what I saw, as my son was here and I saw the great things the club were trying to do at, at the level they were at, everything from the quality of the strips, um, the games they're putting on a Friday night, the inter-team inter tournaments, etc. You could see that they were really trying to produce a good quality product. And I thought, if my son's here and he's really getting involved, I don't want to just sit on the sideline twiddling my thumbs. I want to see if I can actually add value, as I say, to the actual club. Now, my background through a business, I started that business in 2003 from nothing, just from um, leaving, leaving college essentially and wanting to do something. So I can apply the skills I've learned from going a business from zero to, to where they are now and apply it to the club. And I think one of the problems a lot of local clubs and amateur clubs have is, is they're run by people who are very passionate about the sport, passionate about the team, but they don't necessarily have the background to understand how to structure the business as, a, as it is for the club the processes and the procedures and kind of the boring stuff on you know, the spreadsheets, uh, the, the, the taxi accounting, membership schemes, and all, I can bring that to it. And with James's knowledge as being the chairman and head coach and he's got the basketball skills between us, we can be a good partnership to actually bring something good to the area. It's the same problem with every club, it's really initially getting that awareness out there, getting people, because there's obviously in sport, unless it's professional football, there isn't a lot of money at a ground level, so you've got to get people who are willing to put a bit of time in, and it's like many hands make light work, a few parents here there chipping in, some local companies putting sponsors in, and getting that all coming together, and really building on that resource. And as that grows, it has a snowball effect. More people see it, want to get involved. You get more social media presence. And that's a great thing these days, you know, you're not relying on professional media outlets. We can go on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and Instagram and really push ourselves out there. That can attract local businesses. And you really build that resource together. But that is the first challenge, getting people involved and getting companies involved who want, who want to you know, sponsor the club as well. Yeah, what would you say is, from your point of view, like, the long-term development you know, one of the first things James said to me when we first sort of started talking about the club was to bring professional basketball to the area. And for me, that is the, the, the golden aim. If we can get to that point where we can have a spectator sport on Teesside with people watching basketball, be that a few hundred, a thousand, two thousand people, and an entertaining game. Because having been to an NBA game myself, when you go, it's not just about the sport, you're not just watching the football match or the players. 
it's everything that goes around it. It's, it really is a sport for all the family to enjoy. From the half-time entertainment, the cheerleaders, the games, everything that goes around it. And if we can get that and deliver that to Seaside and have people coming and enjoying it, enjoying the team, you know, it doesn't have to just be football. We've got another team going on, a basketball team. That, for me, is, it is, is the epitome or, or, or the end we want to get to. Yeah, uh, just one last question. Um, I spoke to James earlier about building the community, building the awareness. How important do you think like building this basketball club, you know, to a regional to the national level? Because it's not just important for the sport of basketball, but you know, the, the region of Teesside. Yeah, I mean, the, the Teesside gets a, a, a hard break for many times, but I do think the sort of um, we put ourselves down a lot. I mean, look at look at cities, Sunderland, Newcastle, Leeds around us, and really as an area, we should build ourselves up. There's a lot of good things going on, but a lot of good people, a lot of talented people. We pull it together, and it gives the local community something to actually get behind. And that's from the ground level as well, because there's elements to the club are going to be, you know, a foundation to charities for helping people out. You know, at the early intervention of crime for kids on the street, stopping that happening. We're also going to get involved with a community session which we've got going on now, like here today. That's just getting kids involved in sport, fitness, teamwork and then the elite team as well. So sort of three sections and the community team can look at the community players and the youth players can look at the team and think, I want to do that one day, I want to become a professional athlete. And it's there, it's within the reach and it's local. You know, and everyone, especially on side, we like our sport, we want to be passionate about the area and our clubs and that's where I think it gives him back and people really follow it.